Andor, season one, episode six. Andor, season one, episode six. So this is like one of the opening scenes. And I was looking at this pillbox. Is this called a pillbox? That's what it is. A little defensive um, point to pillbox. There's there's this road on the right. Um, and the pillbox is facing the other direction. What the heck? That, that seemed okay to me because you want really. your windows or your pillbox pointing out away from your access path. Like I figured this, this road here is what will we'll, we'll walk up to their base. So you want the pillbox like pointing, pointing out. But isn't this line of sight right here is towards the river valley, whereas the invading yeah. army is coming up here. Ah, so I guess that would be for the winter approach and the winter approach is when the the river floods and all the salmon go upstream and hop over the dam uh -huh. so this is a, a hunting spot for the the imperial soldiers to get the salmon i guess it's got i mean they clearly hunt salmon with that big thing right there that's to they keep just... the bears away it oh, keeps the bears yeah. away while the imperial people <laughs> <laughs> while the imperial people are like i want that fish <laughs> Okay, so that very very good analysis of the, wow. of the pill. Well. <laughs> <laughs> what about, oh, this mm. was interesting. I wanted to look at this screen here. So I yeah. see this um, planet. Is this on this guy's screen? There's a planet, which I will mark right now. This looks like a planet. That must be, okay. what is it, Aldani? That's where they are. Aldani. And are, the, are these outgoing ships? Right there and there. There's two arrows heading in opposite directions. Those outgoing ships I mean, from it could, it could be. They didn't say anything in the show that they were like outgoing freighters or anything. Like, um, mm -hmm. I don't know. Hmm. And I guess the red lines on the screen, there's, a, there's an orbital red line and then various, I don't know, redirecting lines. Interesting. Yeah, like so maybe that lines. inner circle, maybe that inner circle right there is like mm -hmm. an orbit, nice smooth circular orbit. And then these lines in the back, maybe these are transitive or transition trajectories to go to mm -hmm. different orbits. So mm -hmm. this is like a lane that they want all the ships to go through as they like leave the system. Yeah. Maybe. And I guess as Aldan Aldani becomes this huge distribution center in the Imperial plans, this is going to become a Logistical denser, denser, and thing. super yeah. important. Yeah. You see this arc down here, down there. Yeah. Right. What is that? Because it's it's not it's not centered around the planet, or even even, even external to the planet. It's it's some other object. Well, this is a two D projection of three D space, so it doesn't necessarily have to be in line with the planet. It could be like way above the planet, projected down onto the ecliptic or something. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe there's something going through the plane there. Maybe it's possible. And so Maybe it's like it's a like a map of their of their local system. So they're like, hey, watch out for this thing that bobs out of the system while everything else is going around. Mm, yeah, it could be an orbit mm. of maybe around the a moon That's of no this moon. planet. <laughs> That's a thing in orbit of the moon. Which would be a, a moon moon. It should be a moon moon. Moon moon. Moon moon. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, actually, the question I had about these this uh, situation was th this is the commandant. Mm hmm. Um, which I guess he is the one in like command command. I think so. And this guy is a lieutenant, yeah. so he's got lots of responsibility on the base, but he's not in command. Command. Who is this guy? Where does he stand? I don't understand. If his I position. remember he's the colonel. He's the colonel, so he's like the second in command. I thought that he actually outranked the commandant, because oh. because like the commandant's talking with his wife and son, and he's like, "You want to get off this planet? Well, the commandant's going to decide that." And so I, I think, oh, sorry, no, no, the colonel's going to decide that. And so I think they're kissing ass to this guy. Um, but they also say oh. that he's like an engineer or something. So like, 
I, I could understand why he outranks them, but also that he's younger. He's not a part of the military chain exactly. He's like the engineering side. So he's high rank, but like, it's like I to see. the side. I don't know how to say this in the military terms. Yeah. And does that have to do, so he, the commandant, is wearing blue and red, whereas mm -hmm. the colonel is has got yellow and red. So maybe that so. signifies maybe science or engineering, and whereas this is like oh, blue is in the command structure. Because Gorn, he also wears blue and red, or maybe blue, uh, but yeah. it's like three pips and one, I think, I remember. This guy's four pips and two. Yeah, and this guy is... What is that? Five, five, pips five yellow one. and one red. Interesting. Mm -hmm. We could decode their system. That'd be fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's oh, three do you see pips that? And, three pips and three. two, four pips and one. So he must the, the and, colonel and must code. be higher ranking. You're talking about this screen over here, right? Yeah, I just noticed that. What do you think? This Pit, guy's playing like '70s retro, a '60s retro game. <laughs> this has nothing. <laughs> he's just he's, he's just downloaded this. He's having fun. <laughs> this, if I remember from Star Wars, like Episode Four, this looks like, yeah, that looks like like the alignment diagram for so the Death like, Star do, do, coming do, do, do. into shooting alignment. So maybe something's <gasps> aligning. Maybe this is this is Aldani moving into the the comet path that creates all of the the meteorites. Oh, cool. And then this is the band right Holy here. Holy shit. That, that is, is the meteor shower. Detailed. Yeah. That's really cool detail. So that's Aldani. So let me, this is Aldani moving in to the band, which is going to be the meteor shower later. And it's right on the edge. It's not quite there yet. That's a detail. That's a fucking that's detail. Cool. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. What about this screen right here? Uh, too low res, can't see. Can't see. <clears throat> too bad. You know the the Imperium has the Empire. The Imperium, the Empire has a lot of like cool tech, but also <laughs> low res screens. My hmm. my low res. Are they low res, or is that just we can't see them very well? I guess. What if you like right up to them? Would they be high res? When I get very close to things, things get blurry. true maybe maybe if we find <laughs> if we find an imperial screen let's let's zoom in like if it's prominent in the in the scene let's okay, zoom in cool. real good and see if it's good okay oh yeah maybe so this speeder yeah the speeders are cool just chilling yeah because uh yeah it's ready to i like the touch that it's facing outward and not parked inward mm -hmm. so the it's person who parked it it came in front ways but that would be Backed wrong it up. You have right. to back it in. So if something happens, you're ready to blast out of there. It's blast cool. out of there. Yeah. I also want to talk about this door shape. Just slightly trapezoidal. Slap a lot. Yep. Just slightly For the uh, pear shaped people. Yeah. And if you have yeah. a crate, <laughs> it's just annoying enough <laughs> hmm. to mess up your logistics. Yeah, why would and you? It, yes, why would you ever just? You just always do rectangular. Just always do rectangular. It's just the, yeah, yeah. And then uh, are these. What are these on the side here? This one and that one. They look like electricity or gas meters to me, but that can't be right. <laughs> yeah. uh, Empire still got to pay bills. So. <laughs> Wait, why would why would the hydroelectric dam? I'm assuming they do hydroelectric. Why would mm -hmm. they need to pay electricity bills? Yeah, they, no ma way. they make it. <laughs> Maybe maybe this isn't a hydroelectric station. It's just flood control. Well, possible, it doesn't yeah. generate power, so it, it prov they, they need power. So these are the uh, one's gas, one's electric. Hmm. Keep the place warm. Okay. 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 Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, this is like the hiding location <laughs> for what? What are the two characters' names? There's the doctor, Val. the healer, that's, Val. Uh, that's uh, the healer is Sintra. 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 Sin Sinta. 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 Yes. Sinta is the healer, and then the yeah. leader is Vel. Vel. And, I mean, this isn't such a huge lake that there would be, un. Well, I would think that this is not such a huge lake that there would be unpatrolled areas that could you could hide in. 
And then if there was a patrolman somewhere, they would be like, if I was to hide, where am I going to hide? Under this rock, <laughs> under these rocks. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's just, so. it's just, even if I wasn't going to hide, I was just going to go somewhere like take a piss. Like this seems like the place you would go to because it's mm-hmm. just, it just stands out compared to like the mostly just green and flat mm-hmm. everywhere around, around it. But I guess this is in line with the arrogance of the empire at this point that they're like, we don't need to patrol these, you know, these nobodies in the hills. They don't, they're not a threat and they're just really not paying attention to their important base. The empire runs a tight ship. Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Yeah. Kind of. Like, yeah. They're real strict, but at the same time, they just overlook stuff. Right. And I guess the lowly infantry patrolmen for this area just really don't care anymore. If I'm not going to get in trouble, all right. That's right. That's right. And then I think there's a, yeah. So here they are in, hmm. it's, it's a uh, Vel and Cinta. Mm-hmm. And I was really surprised in the last episode that they used a fire signal to communicate. But I'm also surprised here that they're using radio to communicate. I mean, they really have to be confident that the base, the Empire, isn't paying attention to any they, radio. I mean, I know they, yeah. they're they planning on jamming it, but... Are they like jam, but selectively de-jam their frequency, but couldn't the other city like the the air base um couldn't they have also just scanned for transmissions coming out that's right yeah and you don't actually this this would be the one that's not blocked yeah and you you know you don't necessarily have to be able to hear what they're saying sometimes like you can just know like oh there's something going on on that frequency i don't know what it is but that's suspicious now my alert level is raised and I guess even if you don't know what they're saying, you can triangulate where it's coming from. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Hmm. Surprised. I mean, they are so confident that the Empire isn't listening to this radio frequency and isn't even aware that they could communicate on it. Either the Empire's, they really know how incompetent the Empire is, or these guys are really competent. Just rolling the, or they're rolling the dice. Or they're rolling the dice. It could be rolling the dice. Yeah. I mean, a little bit of both. A little bit of both, maybe. Yeah. Sometimes you got to, you know, roll the hard six. Oh, yeah. What is this? Go ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, they, Vel and Cinta go underwater with their, like, their, like, assisted speed swimming device. And they come out with these cool neoprene... And some type of, I don't know, polyvinyl something uniforms mm-hmm. and, and their dry yeah. bags. Super cool. So yeah, the, this is cool. the the first like extra cool tech gear that they showed up with. They're like yeah. ragtag rebels, but like they're equipped. They're equipped. They're geared up. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. I guess they changed in the rock hideout the rock. Yeah. and then put their regular clothes in the dry bags. Makes sense. Yeah. I wonder if they had one of those like things. They did. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They did. They did. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They both held onto it, one one in each, and it pulled them underwater. Yeah. So maybe this is indication that they are very competent operatives. Or someone bought them the right toys. Someone bought them the right toys, which is Luthen. Luthen. Side eye. Oh yeah, this is this is outfit change number one. They go from wearing their like wetsuits and they go mm-hmm. into their cool rebel tactical mm-hmm. X across the neck thing. Oh yeah. Do we see them dump the clothes or do they keep them with them? I don't know where that the wetsuit goes. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't I don't think we see them again. Okay. They probably just dumped them. Yeah. Oh yeah, here's oh, yeah, the cool, this is their cool rebel uniforms. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or not uniforms, they're individual stuff. I had I thought maybe would it be better to hide by hiding or would it be better to hide by like casually leaning on the railing? I think hide by hiding. <laughs> cuz cuz I don't I think they don't have anyone lean against the railing ever like except for a few people that are like in uniform but even then an officer comes mm-hmm. by and he's like hey get to work. Right I mean I guess my my thought on that is they're hiding by hiding right now 
but Suspicious. anybody who's looking at the dam is going to see them. Whereas if oh, they're yeah. hiding by leaning casually on the railing. I see what you're saying. They may be like, oh, they're supposed to be there. I'll, I'll let them slide a little bit. Because right like now, the, the colonel, the lieutenant, and the commandant, they're all down by that that uh, religious place, the ceremony mm -hmm. place. And so if they looked up, this is a chain link fence. Like They'll see these two people squatting down there and be like, what, what right. is going on? But if there's someone like standing up there, like going like this, and you're like, oh, maybe they're just checking out the view. All right, right whatever. Exactly. And I mean, they have, even though there's that religious ceremony going on down the hill, they still have patrolmen on mm -hmm. the dam, right? It's not like everybody has just turned their attention to the religious ceremony, right? Oh, but maybe they'll be like, ah, oh, that's just, that's just Faye and Elizabeth and whatever. Like, they just like to hang out there. This is like right. their time of day where they just do things like that. Because it's the root. It's they set up a routine of one yeah, time. <laughs> oh no! I mean, like, oh yeah, good point. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. And then hey, what is this part? Varada. Oh, this is this is Cinta's cool. Yeah, that's oh, her. Cinta's, what she Cinta's get up. Oh yeah. It had a cool like strappy thing. Mm -hmm. And there was two. There was a point in time where they they had to jump off this like um, right after this yeah right after this yeah right after this they had to jump and mm -hmm. Vel got scared so there was some yeah. kind of she's scared of heights or something and Cinta had to like pump her up so they could she was hop, so cool and level headed yeah. and like just called her out on the BS like you're delaying mm -hmm. what's going on yeah yeah Fred Heights I'm mean, I'm assuming that will come up again. That oh. she's afraid of heights or afraid of ropes. We'll see how it goes down. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Oh yeah, so this is the this is the jump that she was that Vel was afraid to do. I mean, it is scary. I gotta, gotta be honest. And they went face first. Wait, why would you go face first versus feet first versus like butt first? I mean, face first or butt first? I think you go butt first so you can control the rope. And if you have some kind of belay or whatever, whatever mm -hmm. it's called, you can control it. Whereas if you're like, you know. <laughs> but but I think thing. I think they I think people that do this do repelling. Sometimes you go forward. Sometimes you go backwards. I, I, I don't know. What's it? Oh, you could have one person face down and one person face up for situational yeah. awareness. Yep. Yep. So like, yeah. like Cinta looks down the head and then Vel looks up and is like, oh, there's someone looking at us. So I think, I think if we look at Cinta, uh -huh. she is looking up. You think so? And Vel is looking down. Maybe. Yeah. Good point. Oh, nice, nice vector, vector <laughs> notation. <laughs> cool. Okay. Ooh, oh, yeah. So this shot. is actually them going down. I guess there's Vel. Yeah. She's facing there's face Vel. down. Can we? Is is um, Cinta in this? She I think Cinta no, is she's already below. Down. She's already down. Yeah. So she's I was butt I took, down, already down, and Cin and Vel is forward. Yeah, face down. She's going down. Uh, to Cinta. Yeah, yeah. So this one was interesting because of this building. What is this building like? We see it later, and it, it's where mm -hmm. they're having dinner, right? Mm -hmm. But like. Is there any reason this building is floating up on these on this tripod? Like, is there a functional reason or is this just Empire, you know, fuck you stuff? I don't know. Is it a lookout? No, it can't be a lookout because Look lookout would be up on the hill right there. Yeah, or like, just why or build a tower? Why would you have it separate? Just build it right on top of the mm. of the um the dome. Yeah. Yeah, another angle. This is from later in the film, but but like another angle of this tripod, mm. just lunch place? Lunch place, yeah. It does like kind of look like a lookout, though. Sure, like, but why have it be separate like that? Yeah. And why not? Why have there's it these, be like, it, there's, it's in a valley, so why not have it up on one of the two hills? Even better. Hmm, I don't know. It's a thing we don't understand. Plus the elevator up to that, that area. It's like threw up one of the legs. Yeah, so if you have... Uh, you're going to have to go sideways up the leg. It's oh. not a vertical elevator. Right. That's cool. Weird. Weird. But okay. yeah. Star Wars. Yep. Weird. 
I would I would love to visit a place like that. It's Absolutely. Cool. This part. I my heart was pumping for these guys. I think your heart's so... always pumping. <sighs> That's what the heart does. Yeah. <laughs> my heart was pumping at a higher BPM. Ah, bumps per minute. Bump bumps per minute. What's a bump? Bump, bump, bump. I think it's a beat per minute. Yeah, yeah. I just made the sound of it. Because okay. <laughs> they were like, they're, you know, pretending to be stormtroopers. Yeah. Or whatever. Did these you guys see are. how many? Go ahead. Did you... Sorry, I interrupted. Did you see how many times the mom looked at them? She looked at their faces three times. Oh, like the, I didn't like know. You'd have to be so stone faced to be like, she's looking at me. She's looking at me. Mm-hmm. She's looking at me. Like, and you have, ah. you have to know that she's not going to recognize all the individual soldiers. You just got to stay in the zone. So like my heart, my heart watching it was pumping because they got to stay in the zone this whole time. And it was like, they're walking up to the dam and they got to stay in character. Whew. I felt it. You and I, you, you and me, we'd be in the back of the cracking jokes and shit. <laughs> That's right. Like, who are these jokesters here? Who are these yeah, jokesters? Clearly. And then we'd be like, yeah, well, it's a good time with us. Like, yeah. Then we'd be killed. Oh, yeah. Semi-stable plot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, this oh, door. This oh. oh, yeah, this guy. Interesting door. I didn't notice this. Yeah, not only is it a strange shape, again, not rectangular, right? Because there's these, there's a weird angle here. Right. Right? So you've got, I think it's, how many sides would this be? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven is the bottom. Yeah, so I guess we'll go one, two, three three four and then we can't see five six along the bottom seven eight oh sure right if you include the angles as a side so it's mm-hmm. but maybe maybe seven and five aren't there and it goes it's right angle at the bottom i think so yeah okay but either way and then it has this weird sticky outiness right here like convex out. yeah exactly yeah it's like bulbous yeah very strange door. Why might you ever? Why might you want a bulbous door? Does it hold? I guess if you're expecting back? blast pressure in, then yeah. that's a stronger. If if you blast from the outside in, that's a stronger shell. Which way? So let's say you're expecting blast in a certain direction. Do you want the arrow? Do you want this to be the way or this to be the way? So if you if you have blast coming in from this side to this side, you want the bow to be like this. Okay. Because Actually, in the I'm opposite, gonna... it's like a balloon that pushes out. Okay, yeah. So, so, what are we doing? We have a drawing let's, board. Let's, <laughs> we have a drawing board. Let's draw it. So, yeah. if we have gas coming this way, you're saying you want the door to be like this, right? Exactly. Oh no, 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 opposite. I want the door. I want the door to be like this. And the reason is because the as you draw it like this, imagine as there's more pressure, it mm-hmm. stretches the metal apart. It stretches the door mm-hmm. apart, which creates a weak spot, blows it up. I see. The, the material is stronger in compression than it is in extension. I see. I guess tension, extension. I'm not sure what the word is. And I guess if when when the, the gas or whatever it is hits this point, it'll be deflected. Yes. And it'll be some, some deflection gas, and compression yeah. of the... And compression. Whereas here, it's going to be pushed toward a point, and this will be a weak spot, and it'll be under extension. I like that. I like that. So back Ooh, to... Ooh, I just made all of that up. <laughs> so they're <laughs> expecting... This door would be expecting blast coming from the room we're in. Right. So an attack towards the center. And I believe we're inside the dam right now. Behind the first right? door. Yeah. So they're expecting a blast from inside the dam to need to be held back by the door. Interesting. Yeah. But, but the why. more important things are still behind this door. Like the, the more secure things mm-hmm. are still behind. So they're still expecting an attack from the outside. I see. Let's see the room configuration. I'm actually, I actually forgot. Oh yeah, that's right. So this we're like in the, the room. The entrance door. Yeah. But behind us from this viewpoint is outside the dam and through this door is more dam. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Oh, good mom. 
Okay, this part, <laughs> this part was super tense. I was like, <sighs> I couldn't handle it. And let's see, who is pointing their gun at him? So we got this guy pointing here and that guy pointing there. They're going to, so, oh no, he's sorry, he's not pointing. Yeah, but I think, on the, I think on the left, the left, I think that's Cassian. Yeah, I think Cassian, if he misses the, the, the colonel, the colonel? Mm -hmm. he's going to hit the young guy. What's the young guy? That's name? right. That's right. Uh, the young yeah. guy is Nemec. Nemec, yeah. He's going to hit Nemec. So that's that's a bad um, aim. So then, maybe Cassian should like step up to the left or the right a little bit. That would fix it. Yeah, he should step. Yeah, so his his vector. Maybe maybe that's just force perspective. Force perspective. <laughs> See it from this angle. <laughs> yeah. And then this guy is pointing here. That looks like a good shot. That's a good shot. Yeah. Yeah, he won't hit anybody if he misses. And then he's got hostages over here. Yeah. And then he's his muzzle is pointed down to the ground. That's okay. Yeah, because he's caught off guard. So Cassian's the only one with a bad line. He's the only one that's a mercenary. That's right. Take no prisoners. Prisoners. Okay, then I had a question about this scene. Was here? Let me uh, jump over here. Yeah, send it. Here, here we go. So I wanted to know, so um, Cinta comes out of nowhere from like a ladder and, and shoots the threat. And I was like, she was just like a ninja. She like opened the door, scurried down the yep. ladder, yep. perfect aim, blam. Yep. And it happened so fast. She's a badass operative. Yeah. Let the boy go. I mean, wow. Yep. Let's see that one more time. What a shot. So I assume maybe maybe a... she wasn't fast, maybe she was slow, she was just waiting there the whole time. I mean, actually that kind of makes sense. Cuz there's probably a door up there, like one of those heavy doors. Just open the door, get down the ladder, somehow get her gun in her hand, aim it at the right person, like figure out what the, the, the situation is in the room because there's a lot of like competing yeah. things going on. And then aim and fire. Cinta is a badass. Like, she just she sent her really... by herself. <laughs> like, yeah. She Jeez. part Mando? What is that? <laughs> yeah. And she has the mental toughness at the end to stay behind. That was rough. That was rough. Oh, boy. Yeah. Cinta. She'll, she'll be back. Gotta be back. I hope so. Yeah. Oh, this is, uh, she should replace Luke. Okay. Whoa. Slow your roll there. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Do you want a whiny teenage boy that's like, oh, light zipper. I don't know how to handle it. But do you want this badass wait, bitch? Do you want Santa just going down ladders shooting people? Yeah. <laughs> the emperor, she's just like, bam. Pa, pa, pa. <laughs> the emperor's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> ah, the BP boy. The BP boy. Oh, yeah. I had a problem oh, the, with this. The, the radio jammer. Yeah. The radio jammer. Because what? <laughs> They put like they do the jammer, which is cool. Super cool. Hold on a second. Ugh. One second. I got problems. You got problems. You got I got problems. Okay. So they they attach the jammer to this thing, and then the jammer has a little light on it. <laughs> notify passing guards yeah. his little flashing light he's like oh, what's well, that's, that's, that doesn't look like it's screwed down at all like what is this yeah, yeah. what is this <laughs> and then i would assume that this should have a panel on top right because you don't want these exposed cables out in that's a, right in a damn area that's moisture right. and wind and weather yeah. so they didn't replace the panel for this they didn't put it back yeah I guess it was a rush job. That seems to be consistent. It was a rush job. Like they got to get in, place it. Hopefully nobody sees it. Getting, 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 getting in really fast. Speed was more important than. Yeah. Um, and I mean, also maybe I don't know how this thing works. Maybe it is also a transmitter. Maybe it needs to be exposed to open air so that Ooh, way it isn't good point. shielded. That's a good point. I yeah. don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Plausible. I wonder what those little twisty window. wires going off it go. Oh, yeah, you're talking about, uh, let's see. Let me zoom in here. They, yeah. Right here? Yeah, those guys. Yeah, Is that right getting right power right from this thing? Uh, <laughs> like, like, yeah. It doesn't. Uh... 
it doesn't it's not like battery power they like plug it yeah. in like <laughs> thanks <laughs> yeah <laughs> you guys and there's like this. maybe a heat sink down here yeah that's totally heat sink oh but i mean if they oh, took wait, the if there's pan- a heat sink, heat sink there then it must have airflow maybe this part is supposed to be exposed no way i mean you got well otherwise you have an enclosed heat sink without well, airflow like Maybe you have uh, the air point. pressure provided somewhere else because I think you point. wouldn't want these these big connectors exposed to the. I mean, this is in, a moisture in fact, rich environment. If you put that, if you put a metal sheet on top of it, so it was a closed container, but just had a little, a few slits at the bottom, mm-hmm. but you put positive pressure inside the okay. chamber, that would pull yep. air right across that heat sink. That's right. Yeah. So I would assume that this is designed to have a panel on top, and they didn't replace the panel. Or probably the transmitter needed not a Faraday cage around it, yeah, and maybe, yeah, maybe. Uh, they needed sp- they, speed was more important. But this little LED blinky, I'm here light. Yeah, probably. yeah. In the dark, if it was like in the middle of the day, <laughs> the LED would be less noticeable. But like, it's dark out, and this guy's like, "Yeah, <laughs> I'm here. I'm here." <laughs> I believe it even changed color. We don't see it here, but I think it went from like red to blue. And it's beeping. It's, it's audibly beeping. <laughs> hey, they got it done. Got it done. All right, next one. Let's see. Oh yeah. Woo! So this is where Nemec is t- telling telling Cinta about like which buttons not to press in, in the in the control tower, mm-hmm. but like none of these are labeled. <laughs> like like like, can you imagine mm-hmm. being? having your first day on the job here and they're like oh yeah um learn this by the way <laughs> like like which one's which like oh i guess learn it <laughs> like, oh. the, the yeah. whole day like i don't i don't know what to touch <laughs> right and even after you learned it you're not going to get the positive reinforcement from the labels so you you right. have to have the manual splayed out on the table right there like this so there's like there's like a day where all the lights go on and off like frequently and people are like ah there's a new person here <laughs> yeah all right. <laughs> Although, look at these switches. They look beefy and super True. nice responsiveness. True. It would feel like a positive tactile, just click. Just yeah. click and you know it, it clicked perfectly. Mm. None mm-hmm. of this mushy button. No mushy button. Ugh. Mm. Gotta hand it to the Empire. They know how to make buttons, they don't know how to label buttons. Well, maybe that's part of their security measures. Well, but it's not working. <laughs> it's, if it's not labeled, then people don't know how to use it. But here he is. He comes in and he's like, oh, yeah, this is this and that's that. Don't touch. Yeah, people true. know what it is. Might so label it, it. Make it easy. That means they have unsecured manuals floating around the rebellion. That's right. Well, that's just the way it goes, I guess. They could set traps just by changing the actual mm-hmm. button locations. Rebels that's right. wouldn't know for several years yeah. you have custom buttons yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh this was cool the al kenzi air command which al-Kenzi. is on aldani apparently but somewhere else mm. um they store the tie fighters for deployment mm-hmm. first off this is such they're so so complicated the empire has ridiculous resources each each tie fighter gets its own like um docking clamp docking clamp with all kinds of parts attached to it for mm-hmm. who knows what yeah if i just zoom in right here like i it's the complex mechanism here we got cabling going hydraulic clamping mechanism some type of latching mechanism that holds the entire ship up yeah like, that's right somehow this got to grab right here, tight yeah got to grab tight and each tie fighter gets its own these have to be maintained. I mean, the resources to do this are ridiculous. I don't like this because the failure mode of this device is crush. Like, you want it to be if something breaks, then it sits there and it's fine. It's also the failure mode is fall and get broken. That's right. Your pilot, ex- exactly. If, if part of this clamping breaks, mm-hmm. then your ship falls and it breaks. And now you got to rebuild mm-hmm. your ship too. You want something right. where like your clamping mechanism, if it fails... No problem. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So if it fails, you just sit in there. No problem. All right. Well, it's not the time falling it. onto the maintainers exactly. below. But also this pilot, as, exactly as you said, like if this pilot slips on the way down, he falls to the ground. Yeah. What is that? Like 30 meters or some shit? Like he's yeah. going to get hurt. 
right? So Fine, they come that's too in too risky for your pilot. Yeah, they come in through the top. Yeah, that was right? cool. They come in down here through this ladder here mm-hmm. and across here. Looks like there is some railing right here. There is some railing right there. Some railing, yeah. But and then they they plop down into here. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Super don't cool. slip. Super cool. Yeah. It's so awesome though. But it's I mean, I guess the Empire is just like next man up. If you fall, you weren't you weren't worth it. Oof, that's so not worth your training time. <laughs> I know. Untactical. You think if it was like general infantry, they'd be like whatever. But yeah. if it's a this is the pilot tie tie fighter pilot, you're trusting them with all the money of all the yeah of the ship. Yeah. But then again, it could be the Empire. They have such high resources, like, Sorry. and they have access to trillions of people. Maybe maybe it isn't that important to them. It's a good point. Trillions of people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's only on a Coruscant. You're talking trillions that's elsewhere. Right. People that would be happy to not live in like a Mos Eisley or whatever. That's right. I think I'll work for the evil empire. Just get me out of here. Okay, so this is cool. the beginning of the super intense paddle uh, at the, I guess, what is it? Down in the cargo shipment area, mm-hmm. loading area. Of the dam. Yeah. And this is the cool. um, commandant. This is the commandant. So the battle begins. The battle begins with a death of Commandant Vihas, <laughs> and the attacker was cholesterol. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it, I was actually confused. I thought he got killed, but then I was like, no, no, nothing hit him. Nothing, it was like a heart attack? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, his diet struck. So in this fight, yeah. diet struck first. And That's then the right. action begins. <laughs> and it was like one of the guys up on the railing was like, wait, he died. Like, what? Yeah, yeah. He's down? <laughs> like, time to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but the actual first shot. The actual first mm-hmm. shot is actually by our rebel guys. Arvin shoots first. Arvin's mm-hmm. keen. And the result was he missed. Hits the wall between the guys. Just misses. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. And he looks like he really lined up that shot too. So he tried. Oh, but look, look, it's off his left shoulder, but he's looking with his right eye. Oh, that's weird. I guess what do you do if you have to shoot off your non dominant arm and use your non do you use your non dominant eye or you use your dominant eye? I think what they say, don't close an eye, but maybe you close the non the dominant eye. So that way you can line up the axis. Line it, the you can line it up. Can. Yeah. I guess. Mm. I don't know. Tell us if you know. Tell us in the comments. Okay. okay. So then, oh, can you go to the right? Back to the axis? Back to the time axis? Okay, let me, uh, I'll zoom out a little bit. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Perfect. Okay. You were there. My bad. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the second and third shot, are the targets are for Andor and Nemec, and they both miss. Mm-hmm. These guys dodge. So, so miss. And miss. Miss. And then miss. Yeah, that's else. it. Okay. So the fourth shot. Fourth shot? The fourth shot comes from the this is actually the radio man. The radio oh. man shoots at Lieutenant Lieutenant Gorn. Oh yeah, he was he looked pretty on it. Like he was concerned that stuff was weird. Right. He so. he like he caught the hint of something's going fishy here and we need to go check right now. Yeah. And yep, gets Lieutenant Gorn. Right at right in front of Vel. She watches it happen. Mm-hmm. So under her command, she lost one guy. Yeah. Already. So that's only the fourth shot. Fourth shot, two people dead. Fourth shot, two people dead. Wow. The fifth and sixth shot, they both go after Vel. And and is this guy shooting dodged. at Vel? Yeah, this guy's shooting at Vel. Okay. He shoots and he shoots twice and misses her both times. That's quite far away. He he's right. He's right here. Oh, pencil. He's right like here. I see. Oh, so he's up. I, he's up here, and the shot shooting hits yeah. the barricade. I see. Okay. Mm-hmm. Got it. Okay. Okay, and then the seventh through ninth shots, the radio men here, mm-hmm. and then and he shoots at Arvin. He shoots at Arvin several times. Mm-hmm. Also, and he dodges. Arvin hunkers yeah. down. Yeah. And also, the two there are two more guys that are also shooting mm-hmm. at Arvin, but all of them, yeah. all of them dodge. There's one, one more picture even. Yeah. I see. Well, I guess yeah. one guy shooting at Arvin, the other guy must be shooting at somebody else. Mm-hmm. 
But but all misses. All misses here. Oh, lots, lots of shooting, mostly missing except for Lieutenant Corn. Mm-hmm. Okay. Lots of missing. Then yeah. Velma. Velma, she recovers. And she immediately yeah. finds a target off to her left. Yeah. She aims and shoots shoots in the back. Successful hit. Successful. Oh, got him. I mean, kill. I mean, she's killing someone, shooting them in the back. Ooh, right? That's right. That's lined up at the heart. That's an accurate shot. Yeah, the guy is down for the count. She watched Gorn get killed and got right Mm -hmm. back into the fight. Mm -hmm. 12 and 13 shots. Cassian Andor, he shoots for the radio man. Okay, and? He shoots radio man and gets him. Gets him. Yeah, right center of mass. Right in the chest. (sighs) Yep. Okay. Andor got collected inside his defensive position, took the mm-hmm. shot. Arvin, Arvin lines up shot, okay. he, and he misses. He misses. He hits the gold the Nemec, or whatever. Nemec, oh, he's no. firing some cover, covering mm-hmm. fire for Cassian to, to do some stuff in the in the cockpit. We, I don't know. He, he, I don't know if he hits anyone. He just shoots off. He Maybe shoots. he's just giving cover. That's fine. Mm-hmm. This trooper, this trooper lines up Andor as Andor is running up the stairs, getting into the cockpit. He also misses. Also a miss. We don't see the miss. Do we and then a bunch now? of shots later, we you can hear them happening. You hear the shots happening as we're in the cockpit with Andor as he's struggling. And on the outside, you see that that Vel gets pinned. And Tamarin, Tamarin gets called upon to come to rescue her. You can see it in his face. He's like, shit. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. But 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 what is he gonna what is he gonna do? Let, let, let's watch. Let's watch. Okay. Let's see what happens. Like okay, here we go. He gets, gets covered and he gets hit. He gets hit. Yep, and Vel watches the whole thing happen. You can see it on her face. Even one one more picture. She's screaming no. She's watching this mm-hmm. guy that she's been she's been having him under her wing, under her command for several months. She watches him die right in front of her as she was as he was trying mm-hmm. to save her. Oof. But what was he going to do? She was pinned down. Like all he would do is put a second body there, right? Like now two people are t- pinned down. Maybe he was trying to get to the to the craft. Because she's on the right side of this, I don't know, flipped mm-hmm. over the, the dolly flipped thing. over hovercraft. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And he's on the wrong the, side of it. So maybe he saw an opening. The but. train is behind him, right? So the oh, train. No, no, he's farther away from the train. Where's the train? Yeah. The train on this particular picture. Here, let me, uh, let me get to it here. So I believe, so... We have this dolly right here, mm-hmm. right there. The tr- yeah. the train or the, the transport is over here. That's right, because she's and sitting he, on a ramp. That's right. So she's on the correct side of it, and the people shooting are from over on the. Oh, up here. I see. So he's thinking he's thinking that by advancing and getting closer to her, then mm-hmm. he can tuck behind with her, that's and right. then he can give her cover fire as she goes in. Yeah. Ah, Maybe see, he I saw think. an opening, but. It wasn't an opening, and guys were able to get a shot on him. He would have had to seen from above him and behind him. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, hard to see. And in the chaos of the battle, it, he took a chance, yeah. and it didn't pay off. Brutal. Yeah, look at her, her face. I, that 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 hit me when when he mm-hmm. died. Yeah, because yeah. they've been training. They've probably been training together a lot. Months suffering, yeah. eating yeah. roots and trash, and not good mm-hmm. stuff. And then Nemec. Yeah. Nemec, he's like, he's pinned down here. He's not cowering in fear. He's pinned down because mm-hmm. there's, there's troopers that are shooting down on him. He mm-hmm. gets together and, and, and he saves, he saves um, mm-hmm. Cassian. Yeah. Oh, he yeah. He takes the shot right here. He shoots the guy in the back. You can even see it. Yeah. Yeah. And he's actually in the transport, right? He's in the transport. He's in the low, then the cargo area and mm-hmm. Cassian's here getting, he's losing. Mm-hmm. Cassian's up here losing his fight. He's getting stroked. That's he's right. getting choked. That's right. So he's getting, so, his name is Nemec. Nemec. He's getting shot from this direction. Yep. Yep. And yep. so he made lines up this shot here to the choker. Yeah. Yeah. Good shot. Here's the guy right in the back. Yeah. Can we look at that shot? Come on to next pick. What a sniper. Yeah. Got him. Got it him. Was a ris- it was a Nemec. risky shot. It was a risky shot, but he had to do Very it. Very risky shot. He also had to calculate the penetration depth of that laser. <laughs> Could have gone right through to Cassian. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Actually, I don't know the are these plasma or laser weapons. The blaster, I think the they're plasma. Somehow. Sure, sure. I wonder how far that penetrates, like flesh. Ah, good point. Because it might just, it might not have much penetration power. It just wrecks it's, you. 
guess it depends on the duration and the intensity of the laser. Mm. It's also possible that it tunnels through, like if that's you had right, a continuous that's right. beam. That's right. But I guess they are as a pulse of. I think it's I plasma. Guess, Is it laser or plasma? So I would guess that it's a pulsed laser, mm -hmm. but it's ionizing the air as it goes through, so it's creating uh, a plasma. I but see. you're not actually throwing the plasma; you're you're throwing the energy through the laser. I see. Um, but yeah, so even, but mm -hmm. laser or plasma, you are hitting a human, and the human is not very conductive. Mm -hmm. So so you're getting you're putting an energy density that's just too hot for for humans to to move the energy away. Mm -hmm. So I think you would burn a tight spot, and tight spot, yeah. perhaps you would drill down. Like it wouldn't make a big circle of damage. It would make a like a piercing. Oof, that's scary. But maybe once it gets into the body, it just dumps all the energy into a bunch of opaque things and just burns the body yeah. from the inside out. Exactly. It drills down by burning a hole. And so like well, I suspect that even like nearby, you would have very cool skin. It's just that laser hole that would be drilled into you. Right. I wonder if things cauterize all the way through. I don't know. I don't think you'd want them to if you were trying to kill people with your weapon. So maybe it's you designed so it's, you know, it really wrecks you on your insides. It is a less civilized weapon. It is, yeah. What's next? Cool. Yeah. Vel. Vel. There's a bunch of missed shots and Vel on the move. She gets this guy to kill. Hmm. Okay. And then, all right. And then here we are. The ship doors are closing. They're about to get out, and we can see mm -hmm. on the ground here, right in front mm -hmm. of us, it, on the bottom. Um, let's see. I'll circle it. What am I doing? Yeah, please circle it. Bam! That's Lieutenant Gorn over there. Tamarin. I see. Yeah. He's there. Leaving them behind. These two. These two guys die. They get left mm -hmm. behind. They get left behind. No choice. Yeah. I mean, no man left behind, but got to get out for the mission. Yeah. So he gets out. Yeah. And, uh, he, and, and at this moment, Nemec is saying, where's Tamarin? And he, oh, can, he can tell that Tamarin is outside. He's out, yeah. yeah. Thel and Skeen don't say anything. Tamarin's mm -hmm. down. Oh, and then the, the final hit of this battle was mm -hmm. the is the hovercraft. The hovercraft targeted Nemec. Mm -hmm. And uh, the result was paralyzed with a fatal injury. Oh yeah, I was one I, picture to the left too. Yeah, yeah, I was actually very surprised this was not part of their plan to anticipate the acceleration of the craft. They they did they did they like held onto the railing with their hands, but you don't have that grip strength. I guess right. what you're saying is they in the plan in the plan they should have known what this thing is capable of, and they should have planned where to stand accordingly. Yeah, and if you if. If you have these heavy items like cash money, you know, cash you're not, money. <laughs> <laughs> you know you, if it accelerates and they're not tied down, then get caught, get in the cockpit, close the door and then, uh, right. you know, I, I'm surprised that wasn't part of the plan. Actually, we have a video here. Um, let's, let's send it. Here we go. We're going to watch them. That is, that is not the one I was thinking. This is... No, I didn't catch it. Oh, well. But yeah, I was very surprised that they didn't anticipate that and got thrown off guard by right. the acceleration the, and the non-tied down load. Especially Vel, who still has her climbing gear on. She could have hooked in. Mm -hmm. She could have, like, they should have, like, strapped themselves to the railing or, I guess, stood against a back, a bulkhead, mm -hmm. with, like, a back to it. Yeah then the, the bulkhead will accelerate the whole bodies instead of yeah. letting them get flung around. And it, they kind of acted like they didn't even know the acceleration was coming. Yeah, they, just, they, all got they all got flo flung through the cabin and they just, you know, the unlucky one was... got pinned. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Although I wonder, should the hovercraft... I guess we'll have to go back and look at it. Like... Mm -hmm. Should the hovercraft have hit the wall first? Like, how did he end up in front of the hovercraft? Or a sandwich between? That's a good point. Let's go to the, let's go to the scene. Let's go to the point. Yeah. If 
I recall, they grab onto our rail. Oh, further back. They grab onto our mm -hmm. railing. It's here. Okay, here we go. Maybe a little bit further. There it is. That's it. Yeah, but so let's get the part where they they grab onto a railing at, at the big at the front of the cargo hold. Let's yeah, right here. They're grabbing. Right here. Yeah, so okay, if they're so at the front of the cargo hold, that means that the hovercraft must be behind them, right? It's behind him, yeah. So how does he get flung? He they're in line here. The hovercraft is behind them over here. here let me must be because they're at the front of the cargo bay. Yeah. So there are three that are lined up here. The car, the cargo dolly hovercraft thing is back here. So somehow, mm -hmm. what's this guy's name again? Nemec. Nemec. Nemec got flung behind. Um, yeah, faster than the hovercart did. Yeah. Even though they have different masses, it's the same acceleration for both of them. Yep. You know, so because I guess of the, this shouldn't. Yeah. Hmm. Let's let's uh, I think see what this happens. Should have happened. Yeah. Strength send it, have it. Sends it. Sends it. Sends it. Right. Maybe, maybe it was latched in. Maybe the hovercraft was latched in, and it got pulled taut, and then he it's fell behind it, and then okay. the strap okay. broke, and then it, and then it crushed him. Okay, I buy that. Yeah, maybe. Either way, I think they should have all been in the cockpit, closed the door. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. At least There's really your... no reason for them not to be in the cockpit. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh, oh no, no yeah yeah, yeah no, i don't know why yeah, i don't know yeah it just maybe chaos of battle and yeah it yeah. went sideways it's unfortunate <laughs> oh fucked up dude oh i didn't mean it to <laughs> fucked up i liked him oh he's such a pure-hearted kid that yeah i know yeah my jokes i crush it yeah that's how it went down yeah shit went sideways just i'm just ribbing crunchy, you crunchy. uh I'm paralyzed by what you've said. Mm. I'm just pulling your leg, but you can't feel it. I can't feel it. I don't even realize what you're trying to do. <laughs> oh, oh. <fucked>. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I think that's the that's end of the, the battle. battle. Now they're escaping. Mm -hmm. Let's go up here. Oh yeah. So this is a, an aside from the battle. So here's some the engine. Let's uh, let's watch. Um, I couldn't believe. Um, so they the thing is sitting on the rail, and the the engines blow, and the, it gets sent off, you know, into the through the tunnel out into space. But the engines blow back into the loading unloading area. I was like, this is ridiculous. It's unsafe. And that's the wrong video. That's the, also the wrong video. Here we go. There you go, sends it. And these guys, bam. These guys are like just blown back. Yeah. That means for any any time they depart with this cargo thing, the whole unloading unloading area has got to be clear of cargo and people every single time. Yeah. And after it launches, they got to clean it because that's going to blow up a bunch of dust and just junk everywhere. Yeah. Plus, who knows if there's like a clean combustion? You, know, you got weird gases up in there. Yeah. So you could have deposits mm. and even toxic fumes, assuming, you know, I guess the empire just doesn't care about its people. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, that's consistent because they like have yeah. people standing on super tall places without railings, like mm -hmm. safety things are getting skipped here. Yeah. So yeah, very clearly there's no protection for the workers. I mean, you can see the atmosphere is here is all gassy. What is this? Yeah, all mist. What is this foggy stuff? Mm. I think I think that's the engines are burning, or whatever they do in you know for these engines. I'm not sure what it is, and it's left behind particulates that these that's people not, are breathing in. Yeah, <laughs> twenty years they might have cancer. Yeah, oh yeah, that's chronic exposure to that would not be good. Not good. Yeah, cool engines though. Yeah, cool engines. Very interesting engine design. They've mm -hmm. got these. Uh, if we 
I was con- they so I guess on mod- on fighter jets they use um, like these variable apertures at, for the exhaust. So like there's uh, these pedals here. It's hard to see my. Uh, I see. Blue and blue. Let me uh, let me go let me go red here because that'll that'll be a problem. Here. So like these okay. these things are called pedals. Hmm. You know. Oh, like they, can, I see. they can they can like f- go in and out to change the aperture for the ex- for the gas expanding into the atmosphere. Uh, but there's these strange gaps here in the in the pedals. So I oh, don't understand these pedals, how this. How this I don't think these out. articulate. I think they do. I think they did do articulate. They? Let's uh, let's oh, maybe, watch it again. Maybe yeah. So when when he goes, let's see. Maybe they don't articulate. At least hard to tell. It's hard to tell. Yeah. Yeah. Don't understand how that works. That must be built into the design of that particular engine. Maybe we should start cutting up our pedals on our fighter jets. <laughs> I do know that there's like a chevron look to the exhaust to help reduce sound. Maybe that's what they're doing. But it's very cornery and less smoothy for these gaps. I don't know. Mayor. Oh, this is just beautiful. Yeah. When like they said the meteor coming up. And... Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can see the ship. Go ahead. Ship coming up. We see this meteor shower above, and you see all these things streaming across the sky, and the ship's mm-hmm. climbing up. It's just it's beautiful. Yeah. I think Wait, is that a little... Right... Is, is that an Aldani yeah. village there? Is that yeah, a we what? should. we should... Is there an Aldani village down here at the bottom? Uh, I'm zooming in. We should send some TIE fighters over it. Oh, yeah. Find out. In- intimidate them. Just buzz them. Just every valley there. <laughs> when they said meter shower, they meant meter shower. This is absurd. Yeah. Yeah, totally absurd. I wonder how good a meteor shower would look if our eyes were better at night time. That's a good question. Like our cat's yeah. like, oh, meteor showers are amazing. And we're like, mm-hmm. I guess. We can't tell. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh right. Nemec. So he's getting injected by the thing. Uh, uh, what are they called? The it hurts. It's over here. Med stim. Med med spike. Med spike. Yeah. Keep him still. Med spike. Med spike. I don't know. Was that actually supposed to heal him, or is it just to take the pain away? I. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the mystery drug is, but I think it functioned effectively like epinephrine. Like just spike his vitals so that way he can stay alive for a bit. But I like, see. it wasn't like back to spray or whatever. Like. Mm-hmm. I see. I thought it might have been some like quick neuro regenerative. That'd be cool. Yeah. Hmm. And she spikes him right in the heart. It's like adrenaline. Yeah. No. Then. Okay. Then there's the Tie Fighter chase. This is the scene oh, out of the Tie Fighter. I had I had an emotional connection to this scene. Like, I felt like this was so just beautiful and romantic. Like, I've never wanted to be a TIE fighter pilot more. Like, like, he lays this, like, this ship that's leaving and running away with the paycheck of all your friends and family of the entire sector. And, like, they're like, go, go get them. Shoot them down. Don't let them escape. And you're, like, hopping in your TIE fighter with your boys. And then you're chasing after this guy. Like, I want to be a TIE fighter pilot. For the Empire. That's, I, mean, that's, I also like it's dying evil in from the too. rebels' perspective, but like, I just want to be a Tie Fighter pilot, chasing all these guys, mm-hmm. Oof. fighting the good fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Empire style. Cinta, Cinta, and Cinta's left behind. Left behind, yeah. Badass. So, I mean, she all, has to deal with it. In all of the combat, Gorn dies. And Sint is left behind, and the uh, the last guy, Tamarin, Tamarin mm-hmm. is, is left behind. So those three people are left behind, while the other ones make it off planet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now she's in real. She's vulnerable because if they find out who she is, they're not going to treat her well. That's and they they've likely. seen her face, so I think mm-hmm. she's going to get hunted after this. Yeah. We'll see. She's coming back though. She's like a ninja. 
That's me. Ah, uh, yes. And to round out the fight, this is the this is the very end of the fight. Is uh the Tie Fighters, two of them get taken out by meteorites, and then one of them gets taken out by a different Tie Fighter. You still feeling romantic about being a Tie Fighter pilot? I went down to save my friends and family. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All for the Emperor. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. It's not for the Emperor. It's for safety and security of everyone. That's right. So we're seeing different colors here. Mm -hmm. Does that mean these meteorites are chemically different? I think so. Because if they're burning up and the chemicals are different, then the spectrum that they give off during the burning up will be different. So I think they did explain it as like a bunch of different crystals or something flying yeah, which... at high speed. So if different crystals have different compositions, they have different spectrum given off. If they're crystals and if, if they're this large and they're burning through the atmosphere without just fizzling away, these things must be pretty big right? mm -hmm. just to have enough mass to burn away and shine off light, but still have be there. And so if they're crystalline and huge, holy cow, what happened in the birth of these meteorites that caused them to be like that? Yeah, I mean, I mean, we find crystals in space, but they're usually very small because they cool quickly. So you've got a, a band of crystals in this in this particular star system that are sufficient size and density to cause this. Yeah, Crazy. I mean, growing something, this would have to be meters large of an object, I think. And that's my hunch. And so, like, that's a large volume to have as crystals. Maybe it's True. polycrystalline. I'm okay with I'm, I'm okay with it if, if it's polycrystalline bunch of bunch of little tiny crystals that are not one big crystal because those are hard to make mm -hmm. i wonder we'd have to we have to really think about this so how would something like this be how would something this come into existence we could put limits on the size of the objects because they, they need exactly. to be large enough to be seen but not so large that they're going to like impact and then we have different chemical compositions there's actually a lot to think about here in terms of how this can be set up. I don't want to say it's impossible though. I want to say in the trillions of galaxies and the maybe somewhere we could find yeah. this. Yeah. I mean, and I hope, I hope it does happen because it's beautiful. Yeah. Maybe it's like multiple different planets that have different compositions were broken up and now they're in this orbit as little, little asteroid bits. Mm. And every time Aldani comes through that, that pathway, they see this beautiful display. Right. And the multiple different planets tells the why it's different chemistry. Could be, yeah. Maybe. And the fact, that, the fact that they existed as planets means it gave them geological time to grow crystals large enough. But then when it broke up, those crystals still exist. Okay. I like it. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here they yeah. are. So these people make it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the original yeah. seven. Use the left, the four, get out. Yeah. And, and they, they end up going to, to this doctor. Yeah. So cool. He, four armed doctor. Yeah. Is he the same species? What's that orange, the old orange bar owner in episode seven that uh, Ray and Finn go to meet and she has Luke yeah. Saber? Is it the same species? I don't know her species. But I think there was a oh, that's species. right. Did she have four arms? I don't remember. She looks similar, though. Yeah, she looks similar. I don't remember her having four arms, though. I don't think she did. Yeah. I remember there was a guy in episode two that had four arms. He was the guy that told Obi-Wan to go to Kamino. But that okay. has a very different look. Different look, yeah. He was, like, blue, if I remember. Mm -hmm. But neat, though, like... Yeah, four arms. So it gets so much done, but I guess so I guess that's like that's like a snake looking at me, be like, I don't have any arms. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or legs. <laughs> oh, this scene. Ooh, but that's the right move. That's that's that right. right. That's the right move. I didn't see it coming though. I didn't think. I mean, we knew Cassian had. I did not. You know, edge to him, but his quick decision to be like, this guy can't exist. Oof. Yeah. Because he, there, yeah. Oof. There's the moment. There it is. You can see the steadiness in his face. Mm -hmm. Just the right thing. So, was it Skeen was saying, 
together they should make it off the planet and and split the winnings winnings split the loot between them the Gigi. booty um <laughs> between them and abandon the the, the mission uh-huh. and uh and abandon uh vel and everybody here and yeah. he's like this guy can't exist he's in it for himself and he made the call yeah, right himself. there oh that's instant yeah stone cold cool killer but but it's the right move it's the right move it shocked me yeah Whew. he's not happy about it but he yeah. got to do it yeah. and then this is the end of the episode all came together yeah word the word got out that Aldani had been attacked by a rebel force, and apparently, mm-hmm. not only, this isn't just a little deal. This is a big deal. It makes the when the news of this gets to Coruscant, everybody is affected. So the Imperial it's security a- people have like this meeting, and this guy's got this serious face, about to make some changes. It, uh, it's a big wait, wait. Can you go back? Yeah, it's yeah. a big slap to the in the face of the Empire. Like you got an entire sector's salary stolen from under your mm-hmm. nose, and they got away from it. Like, right. I see why it's like a, hey, high alert. We don't let this happen ever. Because if we let it happen once on this, mm-hmm. and it's a big thing that happened. If we let it happen once, and mm-hmm. other sectors might tra- try to do it as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I just noticed here that he has a pen on each side. Okay. And I think all of the people with white jackets, I think they all have pen on each side. I think I think the um, the assistant of, of, oh my gosh, what's her name? The the young go get him hot shot mm-hmm. answering mm-hmm. all the questions about this. Yep. Mm. I, I know Dedra. Who you're Dedra. Yeah. Dedra. She okay. she I think her assistant has two pens on one side. hmm Is this just me? Do, do, you, do you also keep track of the pens? I don't, but I will now. I wonder if <laughs> even if you don't want to, because now <laughs> it's in your head. <laughs> the thing the thing that I was looking at was the pips. Five oh, blue pips. Five blue. So blue is security or intelligence, I think. And then yellow is engineering. Oh, wait, what was the regular... Uh, the Commandant had what color pips? I don't remember. The Commandant was three blue, two red. I see. The Colonel, who was an engineer, was four, four. yellow, one red. Yeah, and this guy has five blue across the five board. Five blue. I'm not mm. sure what that means. So blue oh. isn't just for intelligence. This must, must mean... If five blue, no red must mean very, very high. I think so. Yeah. This guy's very high up. So exactly. the Aldani attack is not just a little deal. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. So he's brought it. In fact, he, he's brought emergency meeting in the in for the intelligence community. Then Mon Mothma, her speech is interrupted during the Senate because the news is breaking as she's talking. Yeah. So it's affected yeah. the Senate chamber. And then, of course... Luthen is like, oh shit, stuff started. This is crazy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yep. And he goes into the background to loud to, to loudly laugh. <laughs> oh yeah. Whew. And that is the end of the episode. We'll be back for season one, episode seven. Episode seven, yeah. Whew. What a ride. See you guys next time.